Hello everyone, welcome back to the trials and tribulations of this particular person here. Um, we're going for a walk in the dark. We're still hungry, thirsty and tired. We're hoping to do something about the hungry and thirsty bit, which is why we're going for a walk. We're doing it in the middle of the night, uh, because basically we can see things like shocker zombies. Um, they can't see us. If we're very unlucky, they will smell us. Nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. Um, so, we are going to slowly step around and avoid these things. In the last episode, which I've just recorded, there's another one. Wow. That's interesting, because that really got me. When I was... I remember, in between episodes... I uh, ran into a shocker zombie right around here. I think I must have run away, so that could have been uh, resurrected. That could have resurrected itself in that time. This has no wheels. Um, th th that's upsetting, because now the shocker zombie is alive again. Most damaged security system. Can, does this work? And it made a noise, which I'm not happy with. That shocker zombie does not appear to have noticed, however. So in the last episode, we said we'd go around the back, and that's what I'm doing. That was just five minutes ago for me. Goodness knows how long it's been for you. Ooh, an electric car as well! Uh, y y stop driving. Uh, yes. <laughs> Remember vehicle position. We will come back to this, because... It does have enough wheels, but it's a bit battered. It's going to be so much better for us. I have, I suspect that the uh, charge in this car is going to drain slowly over time. It's at 98% now, though, which is actually really, really good. It has got enough working solar panels that we, we can feel comfortable about that. I'm being very cautious not to accidentally step into a minefield or something like that. We've explored this house if you remember there were shady zombies in it this is also a problem with exploring at night in the old days it wasn't a problem it now is <laughs> uh, because the shady zombies didn't exist that's a sandbox Can we disassemble it yes why <laughs> can i put sand are you saying i can put sand in a wire shopping trolley i'm not even gonna contemplate this idea. Right, we've, this is as far as we've ever been. We've never seen any of this before. So we're going to want to creep around like a stealthy little stealthy boy. Luckily, we did make ourselves a crowbar and probably remembered to bring it. But the crowbar will make a bit of noise. So if there's anything in this house, ooh, which is unlikely because they've barricaded the door. Don't know if that's a, a, the case. That could not be the case whatsoever. I, I'm just hoping. You pry open the door. It did it for me. That's great. Grab that. Move it to the side. Grab this and bring it inside. Perfect. I didn't even need to uh, ask it <laughs> to, to pry that door open. Uh, let's grab this and dump everything we can into our dragged vehicle, which is a pot and a plastic bottle of apple cider, which is not alcoholic, which means we can drink it. And it's fresh and cold. Oh, that's lovely. Did we like it? Yes, plus six. It's almost as nice as it is. Killing a child is bad. That didn't quite make sense, but you know what I was going for. A desk. What's here? A knit hat. Fine. We can use all of this to repair things, etc. Etc. Can I grab any of this and move it? Yes. I'm a strong boy, having been training in the army. You know what we should do? We should close all these curtains. This is a good house, and I'm happy with it. Hopefully there's nobody in it. <laughs> Because if there's anybody in it, they ain't going to be happy to see me. Because they'll be zombies. And therefore already dead. And actually, maybe they will be happy to see me on the simple principle that zombies live to eat brains of the living. And, well, I mean, it's hard to say they'd be happy to see me. Because that sort of describes a certain amount of... Um, uh, a certain amount of, of autonomy of, of sapience. Salience. Salience. Sentience to uh, the undead, which is unlikely because of how they are dead and can't feel anything and haven't been able to since... What is this? 
The 22 conical ball is a variety of .22 ammunition that propels its bullet using a primer instead of gunpowder. The end result is a subsonic round that is so weak as to be nearly useless given your predicament. <laughs> Fine. Uh, it's we can probably take it apart and get gunpowder out of it. French maid hat. Ooh. If I want to look pretty while I'm doing the, the dishes. Where am I? Oh, there is a down. Where am I French maid hat? Uh, can activate my headlamp, which I made. It's a marijuana basement. I see. Spotty crawling zombie. Let's go and kill it. Fun. No problem. Quick butchery. And then wait for it. Do you know what? Just walk it off. Are um we're running out of batteries. <laughs> we should get some more batteries. Hopefully there are some nearby because I don't think I brought any. Let's check. It's worth checking. Yeah, we're back to stamina's good enough. Uh, reload. It's lowercase R, not uppercase R. Headlamp with one battery in it. We can! Hooray! Uh, there was not much food in here. This makes me sad, because the whole point of this excursion is to feed ourselves a bit better. It's a public garden which is likely to have baddies in it. Not happy with that. There's a house here, but I'm more interested in the houses that are closer to hand. I'm going to avoid this field in between the houses, because you never know where a minefield will have spawned uh, as a result of world generation. So let's go around everything that looks like it could be scary. Uh, open door. Open door. <clears throat> this time it won't do it. Activate. Where is my. There it is. Q. Drop it back in there. We also don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need these. Get all that in my shopping trolley. Please close these windows. I mean, the curtains, obviously. Plenty of 2x4 fodder here. There is, this is not, I don't know. Excuse me, no. <coughs> Ahem. I'm humming because somebody has broken this window without permission. So we're going to just stand here for a minute. I'm pressing 5, by the way. <coughs> don't know if you can see the, the time here increasing slowly because I'm waiting to see if anything's going <coughs> to happen. Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, something's catching in my throat like I've eaten something with seeds in it but I haven't let's um, move this out of the way and pace carefully around this room <clears throat> oh croaky croak a flashlight let's just um, do this this way what's this a screwdriver there's plenty of those in the world lemon irradiated lemon as we've mentioned is not uh, it's not bad, it's it's a standard procedure, don't worry about that. Reading glasses. Blanket, blanket, cargo. Okay, cool. So much cloth that eventually when we do get into tailoring, we're going to be happy that we found it all. Um, I can't step over my shopping trolley anymore, which is interesting. Move that out of the way and have a look in here. It's a long bathroom. Imagine walking that far if you really had to pee. Excuse you. Nobody wants that. Right, uh, ammonia. The gallon jugs are useful. I'm not sure about the ammonia. It's... Ay, 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 what are you? Feral runner. Right, okay. So we will ferally run as well. Uh, I'm going to use my shopping trolley as a... slow down thingy. We can take this. It's just going to be... Tactical. Uh, those things are terrifying when you start the game, so be very afraid of those. Luckily, we started off fairly um, fairly well equipped for combat. Right, we want to check out this, don't we? I'm covered in webs. That's no fun. It's a bookcase with Boxing Monthly in it, so there's going to be spiders in here. Um... Let's just show it. No spiders. But I'm not going in there, because I've never dealt with those enemies before. <laughs> I'm really intent to at this point, so... Um, I, <laughs> I couldn't... I managed to climb downstairs on top of a bookcase, which had a book in it, 
And then I couldn't get back onto the stairs because there was a bookcase in the way. Very good game. Well done. You trolled me. You got me. What was that noise? Did you hear that noise? I heard that noise. I didn't like that noise. That's the uh, 10 o'clock alarm. Silence 10 o'clock alarm. I silenced it. I have such good control over my computer. What's happening here? What's a zombie? Why are there two corpses here and then another zombie? Ignore this and start fighting it. Okay, fine. And then we'll clear out this window. We're going to have to go in this way. Unfortunately, that made a lot of noise. Quick look to everything. Where did that zombie's corpse go? <laughs> uh, oh, it's here. And then we will wait a little bit longer just to get it over and done with. Right, that would have made a bit of a noise, so I'm not too happy about that. Because <coughs> you never know what's nearby, right? In fact, we might check out this house first, just to say we've done it. Open. What? <laughs> I, d I don't understand sometimes why this game will sometimes let me open a locked door without even saying it was pried open and then sometimes just won't do it at all. Uh, all this stuff is good. Look at this food. Eat some food. We're very hungry. So we're going to scoff down <coughs> this cereal. <coughs> oh, a handful of acorns. Negative joy. Can we cook them? I guess we can probably cook the acorns. So we should try that when we get home. I do like a pillow because there's nothing like having a pillow fight with yourself to pass the time and raise some morale in this post-apocalyptic horrendous nightmare of a world. I've picked up a lot of stuff and I have yet to really drop anything off. Open it. <sighs> Fine, I will do it myself. I don't care if it's locked, bro. Anything here? No. There's clearly nothing behind those. Always look out for when you might be able to move a, a bookcase or something aside. Find a secret behind it, but this is not one of those occasions because there's no room for one. But be aware of it, especially in mansions. It'd be great if we could find a mansion. There doesn't seem to be anything on the map right now, but that's because our map has been very locally sourced. It's organic map. Uh oh. Don't like that. There you are. Okay. Grab this. Start running. Stab that. Stab that. No, don't break my... Come back here. Okay, good. But there's a baddie. In the house, I think. Which has been attracted by that noise, so we're going to have to step here. Yeah, there you are. What are you? A zombie brute. That's not what we want to see at all. So uh, let's just run away now. Now we're in a feral runner instead. Okay, cool. Uh, run away. Why? I've already killed these things. Oh no, here we go. Wield. This. Drop it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. The zombie brute has punched us out of range of the zombie brute. I am not going back for any of that stuff for a very long time. We're in moderate pain. We're very hungry. Um, we do have an outpost here, but I don't know if there's any food in it. I'm still running. Don't worry about that. Shocker zombie is there. Can't see us. Right, I have stopped running for now because my heart rate is going through the roof. Uh, in real life as well. Stout, sure. Drink some water as well. The only thing we had with us <laughs> was a glass bottle of stout. Um, Honestly, I would like a house that goes down. I'd like you to bump. Okay. Let's not go with that one. It's not fun. Shocker zombie is there. So this house down here, I believe. Yeah, it's got a basement. I want to hide in the basement of that house. Without being seen by that shocker zombie. If possible. We have not... S 
We've survived an encounter with the brute, but we've lost a lot in doing so. It doesn't make me too happy, uh, to be honest with you. But we can at least go in here. Go downstairs. Oh, it's this one. Well, that's fine. We're comfortable here. So let's... Drop a couple of things on the floor and just have a lie down. <laughs> right, so if you have a sleep here, what will happen is we'll heal a little bit. We didn't take too much damage from that brute, which is tremendous. I'm very happy with that because uh, it smacked us really hard. I don't know if you saw the thing go by, but go back and have a look. It smacked us for 21 damage and it sent us flying. The fact that it sent us flying and horizontally rather than into the room or anything, uh, into the, the wall. Let's just have four hours of sleep. Um, now we're in mild pain. We're very hungry, but we're uh, way less pain. The fact that it sent us along the alleyway between the houses is really good because that is basically the reason why we... Um, still alive because we could run away from it because it was dark couldn't see us peek through the curtains right what have we got anything nothing there half expecting to come a cropper of that electric zombie don't forget about that electric car by the way that could be our salvation that really could so if we can get that electric car somewhere why would that okay um we can get back to that electric car, go for a drive, we might be able to find something a little bit better than being owned by a zombie brute, right? So that was over here somewhere. I'm gonna... Uh, let's have a note here. Uh, glyph. Brute. We can drive around the back, basically, and hope not to run into any rough terrain. Because the car's just here, look. It's risky, simply because we know there's a brute there, somewhere, which we've run away from. We may have drawn it away, we don't know where it's gone. Also, we should... We've lost our knife, because we dropped it when we changed weapon. Hmm. Whilst we're here, since time is not passing, because it's that sort of game, uh, let's see what we have in weapons. Because these are the things we can make. A crude sword. We can make a 2 by sword. Turn it into a scrap metal. I don't know if we have the skill used. Minus 50 butcher in quality. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Bash 6 cut to hit bonus. What is medium blocking ability? What else have we got? Shish kebab from Fallout. You may know it. An exotic weapon comprising a long pole of wood with curved blades on each end. It can be deadly in skilled hands. What skill? Good question. It is cut 20. That's really good, actually. It's slow, though. Very slow. What have we got in piercing? We could make the... Uh, if you remember, I explained that this knife spear is actually something really good to make, if you can. And all it takes is a spike, which, if you can find it, uh, is just made from scrap metal. And then all, basically all this stuff we have back at the back at the place, except we might need to make a knife somehow. I think we should go home. If we have to shoot something, then so it will be shot. By the way, this swamp can open up sinkholes if you wander around in it. You could twist your ankle or something. This line here is a house. No swamp here. So if you're careful, you can just use the game's own mechanics there to avoid. Also, are we in Florida? Who? Why is... Hmm. Is this a... Uh, pulp stuff called zombie cults. We should take this heroin because... It's a painkiller, if nothing else. And then our home is just directly this way. Just wanted to make sure I'm going the right way. Whew. Uh, right. 
let's put our chair here and see what we can make. We are now sitting on our doorstep with a semi-automatic rifle in our hands. How much more American can you be? So a nice spear, we do not have a spike, any patches, or a long stick. We can probably find a long stick if we look around a little bit. Uh, inventory. It's a heavy stick. The thing is, I'm realizing we might not be able to get any rags. Well, we might already have some rags. What are you talking about? Oh, the rags downstairs. Right, so uh, knife spear requires one rag. We can manage that. One rag. Done. Enter. Go upstairs. We also need a long stick. Long stick. Cannot craft the long stick. We have to find one. Well, let's check downstairs again. There may be some around here. No. No. This could be difficult, actually. How are we going to get a long stick? From the woods. Unless there just is one. Do we have one? Maybe we burned it by accident. It's a long string and a heavy stick. Starch is old, but we should probably eat it. We're not as happy anymore, but at least we're not hungry. Should we drink this lemon? Oh, maybe not the lemonade yet. If we eat the tortillas, it'll make us thirsty, and then we will want the lemonade. Good. Right, well, it could be less hungry <laughs> if we tried hard. So we need to go down here. We are walking like right? this. Zombie child. Uh. Why is there a dog up here? Don't say hello to Let's wear this and wield. Hi, Kenzie. What are you doing? We're playing a game, Kenzie. You're not here. You're not invited. Oh. She wouldn't be much good in it. Do you know what? She's going to be the Fallout dog. <laughs> so let's just run away from that. I've wielded the um, makeshift crowbar. Because it does have some ability to hurt things, which is what we want. And we're just on our way down to the, uh, the forest, which is just here. And we should be able to find a long stick there. If we can't, then who are we? <laughs> what is this, though? A pile of straw. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, we are going to just keep doing this. Because if we keep doing this... And this foraging, so we keep doing this. No items, no monsters. Normally it just gives you a list of nothing, but okay. Um, wild vegetables. We'll keep having these wild vegetables because we do at least have a frying pan uh, and a lot of wood back in the place. We don't have a way of um, lighting the fire, but we can probably make another one because we know how. It's just a string and some wood, so I think think we should be okay with that. What is this? It's a tree stump. Let's have a little look around us. No, see, no items and no monsters. Wait. Ha! That had a filter on it. That's why that was confusing. No sinkholes, please. Let's not have... <laughs> make, let's not make this situation any worse than it has to be with accidental sinkholes. I'm going to pick up these wild vegetables. I think eventually if we cook them. Right now they're horrible, right? Um, joy minus 10. Lots of calories. They're very good for us if we get desperate, but if we cook them, I think that'll make a big difference. Like, I literally believe that will make a big difference. So, excuse me? Enter. Actions. Look. Really? Didn't know that. Hickory nuts. Okie dokie. I am still looking for a long stick, which I always find when I don't flipping want one. And now I can't find one for love nor money. So... That seems pretty normal. Do you know what? Newspaper page, we can set fire to that. I'm not even going to read it. We're not in this game for the law. We're in this game because it's hard. And and we just want to survive. Saving game, please. Wait. Okay. Dogbane? What the heck is Dogbane? Where is it there? A stalk of dogmen has a very fibrous stems and is mildly poisonous, so presumably if you want to eat it, 
Oh, now that poison is. It's not got a horrible colour telling us. Um, how far away have we gone? Not too far. We should try and stick near home, though, if we can manage it, because the very worst, we can go home. We can certainly survive another night on the wild vegetables that we've found. Um, just don't worry about it. Gallon jug. See, these are great and everything. <laughs> I just want a stick. With a stick, I can make a weapon. With a weapon, I can stab things. And with stabbing things, I can... I mean, that's the goal. In and of itself, that is what we want. Oh, I can't even... I'm not even going to be able to carry the flipping long stick, even if I do find it. That's alright. I mean, like I say, we can survive a while before we have to worry about... Let me have to shove... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Heavy stick! What? Knife spear. One broom or one long stick. That's certainly changed. Because you used to be able to craft one if you had a level 2 of survival. And whilst in a survival shelter. So that means that... You can't... You turn a long stick into a... Well, not without an axe, right? <laughs> it, but it means that you should be able to find the, the equipment, the materials for a knife spear in a survival shelter, which means there's curtains and there are uh, benches, and that's it. And and the lockers that you smash up in the first place to, you know, get the get the the metal. So you get the metal from smashing up lockers. And I honestly thought that you could make a knife spear using. Oh, you can make a spike, right? Yeah. Whoops. Careful. There is a makeshift knife which we could probably use instead, but it's just not. It's not cutting it. <laughs> now I mean, pointy stick, one pool cue, a pipe spear, welding, a fork spear, a pool cue, wooden spear, broom, long stick, pointy stick, or pool cue, which is made from a pool cue. Steak knife we can find. What weapons? Do we have anything lying around? I think this is another good thing, another good reason to be a hoarder, uh, is if I need a reason, is that if you just collect things, when horrible things like this happen, you have a certain fallback. You know? So right now, I don't have as many things as I would like in order to create my knife spear or just to replace my knife spear because all these are heavy sticks and it needs a long stick which is completely new and very annoying so we have a spike um we're tired and hungry so let's see if we can create we'll sit in our chair again let's see if we can create a campfire drill we need a ceramics shard or a rock uh or a fire drill we need splintered wood which we can probably need. we have a tool with cutting of one or more so let's make our makeshift knife after all I picked up two rags anyway. So, now we can probably make more things. Not really we can make this two by sword. That could work. And then we can from that make Where was that um crude sword? More scrap metal. And a two by sword. Maca whittle? The flat wooden club with sharp pieces of stone sticking out both of its sides. I mean, these are, seem like very effective things. Makes you glaive. Again, long stick. Duct tape and blade. I'm tempted to just wield the two by sword. Um, and, and have done with it. Because all we need to do now... Is, first of all, drop all this food in the kitchen. Well, actually, we should drop it here because we're going to start using this uh, this brazier here, won't we? So, 
What did we need to create a drill? We needed a rock. We need a tool with cutting one or more, which I just put down. <laughs> uh, makeshift knife, there we go. And I wish we could open these boarded windows, but I'm kind of glad we can't at the same time because it means nothing else can, but it means we can't see. Uh, so we want to make a ampersand, ampersand drill. Oh, we can. It's too dark though. So we need two long strings, two two by fours, and one rock. Where is my rock? There. We need two by fours. They are not here. I'll just get these ones. Two of those, please. And we'll drop. Oh, there's two there. I'll just drop them off. Uh, a pile of straw, of course. And then we wanted. I can't remember this much stuff. Uh, a stone knife, not really. No, drill. Oh, we can now make it. Can we make it now? Yes. Right, we made a campfire drill from memory. Perfect. We will move from position 9 to position 8. A couple of 2x4s. We'll activate our campfire drill. We'll get this over here. We'll grab this. Try not to step into the fire. And relax. Let's go and get our frying pan, actually. Uh, what? No. <laughs> Let go. There's duct tape there. There's a lot of it as well. Frying pan, please. We should have a cup of tea, but we haven't found any tea. So we can't. Heat up food. Let us cook. You know what? We can probably make scrambled eggs. That would be grand, wouldn't it? Bird food? No. Wild vegetable stems would make... We could probably plant these. Okay. Dehydrate the vegetable. We've got a charcoal smoker, of course. We've got a lot of stuff here, actually, which is really, really good. Um, but we haven't really got the opportunity to make much with them right now. Uh, this cooked wild vegetables, as mentioned, is very high in calorie. Doesn't seem to have a joy thing. Of, it doesn't tell me how enjoyable it is, but it's probably okay. Uh, let's make scrambled eggs. Let's eat scrambled eggs. Very good. And we will also drink our water. Where? Okay. Um, we need a container. In order to fill it. Will this work? With uh, water and then we can... No, nope. we can cook the water. And we can drink the water. Let's drop that back there. That's not what we wanted to do. Uh, nope. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> I didn't put it in my inventory. I put it on the counter. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bacon powder. Uh, we will put these things down. There. This is a trouble now. We haven't got any uh, inventory space because we haven't got our trolley anymore. Container. Gallon jug. Yes, please. Now, we will make clean water. Batch that. We can make a lot of it, but we don't have anywhere to put it. I think our canteen can hold six. But we're also going to drink some. So, let's make some more. Container. Canteen. Container. <coughs> Excuse me. We have got a lot of places for them, actually. These are far away. Look at that. I didn't realize you could go that far to get stuff. We should use the glass jars. How much have we got left? One. We can put it in a glass. Where is the glass? Because now there should be a glass of water somewhere nearby, right? Glass cup of clean water. Hot. Drink. We'll drink it because we can. We're very warm because we're near a fire, but that's okay. It's raining outside. We're in our little place. We're safe from the majority of zombie baddies. Oh, grab that. Move it. Pick this up. Stop grabbing the thing. Drop it here. I'm not really paying attention to where I drop these things right now. 
except for the fact we're going to put the book in the bookshelf. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to read it. Mostly because I don't really care right now. Can bring your unarmed combat skill to a 1. What is it right now? Unarmed, 0. I don't really care. <laughs> Does it have any recipes in it? It didn't say so. So who cares about boxing? I mean, I'm probably never going to punch anything without you know, prior consent. Maybe in Fight Club. Warm falling. Okay, that's good. That means we're going to end up comfortable. So let's sleep properly, as much as we need to. Save the game before sleep and then call that an episode. We have managed to recover from a bit of a pickle. Now in the next episode, we're going to go and grab that car and we're going to go for a drive and see where it takes us. I'm so reluctant to do anything out of the uh, my particular comfort zone because this is going so well. We're on day eight of spring, which means we should be starting to plant things, but we keep getting ambushed by horrible zombies and stuff. I, I really don't want this character to die if it's all the same to you. So... We're going to keep being careful, but we should venture forth, certainly, and see if we can... Well, let's cook those as well. We're going to cook those off camera. We'll see if we can go and find something cool by driving around the roads. The open roads out of town are usually much better to drive on. Um, well, there's nothing here. <laughs> I did not unplug a device from the audio jack. And just leave me alone. Can you see that? No. It's not recording on OBS, but goodness me. This sort of road, you know, these roads out here. If we cro cut across country and see what's out here, there could be so much more stuff ready for us. So we will go there, see what we can find. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will enjoy me. Enjoy me. <laughs> it might be late at night. Also, I've got to go to work tomorrow, and I kind of don't want to. So let's drag this out as long as we can. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you will join me in the next episode. And until then, I'll see you.